So Jagex have literally just told us a whole bunch of items that are about to go up in price because of forestry. They literally named or listed all of the items that they're going to use in this new skill that's going to be profitable and make us loads of money and make loads of skills profitable all over again. And the items being used, they've told us, and this is so unlike Jagex, it's literally the opposite of what they normally do. Normally when they're releasing new content, they guard the information with their life. You watch a video and it's like, hey, I just found out all about forestry. Really? What you do? Um, I'm not sure really, but, but sounds really, really good. Oh, what items you need to do it? All of the items in your forestry kit. Forestry kit? What goes in that? Dunno, um, forestry stuff? They are deliberately vague because any item they mention, people buy it out and make money on. Then all of a sudden they have done a complete U-turn and being totally open and transparent. And the best part, for some reason, most of the items still haven't gone up in price. Maybe there's just too many of them for everyone to buy. Who knows? So let me show you all of the information telling us the items. Now there's a lot and also a few items which will probably go down in price as well. So let me break down all of the information so that you can choose the best one for you and invest in depending on your cash stack. Some items they hint at and others they just flat out tell us. So this video is from last year when we first found out about forestry. While cutting trees, you'll have a chance to encounter a forestry event. These events are themed around taking care of the woodland, including chasing away fox poachers, controlling the pheasant population. If you can work out what will be used in these events, it will be an amazing investment. But they do tell us one thing in a news post. The ammo for the slingshot will be created using limestone bricks. And this could be their money sink, but they're only worth 26 GP each. So it is possible, but I'm not completely convinced. Limestone bricks are also one of the few items already going up in price. So I'm going to put this in the low chance of a significant price increase, but the first one that they mention in the video. Rehoming bees. Rehoming bees is interesting because the first thing I thought of was how do you attract bees and immediately thought flowers. And if you invest in items normally, you'll know that Jagex are always looking to get rid of items that there's too many of in the game. Having millions of an item that has little or no use hurts the game and hurts the economy. So any chance they get, they try to use these items in new content and flowers is that type of item. You get the flowers from mithril seeds and they have no real use in the game. In the list of items released so far, they mention a sort of flower specifically, but none of the others. However, in the Beyond a Stick event, they mention a new item, powdered pollen. I would think there's at least a decent chance powdered pollen is created from flowers. So I'm going to put this in the medium column. And even giving a tree end a haircut. The tree end haircut you would think is secateurs, since that's how you prune or trim trees. And there's also a secateur attachment that you can create later on. Although it's unclear if we'll use up a ton of secateurs or whether we will just use one and then get the item back after we use it. How it works will really be the difference between a slight price increase and a large one. Another use we'd like to add is tea brewing. This would be a herb law based activity that allows players to brew teas with different properties by freely combining multiple types of leaves resulting in many potential tea effects. Forest's campfires and tea brewing are a couple of ways forestry ties in with the wider game. The tea effect is going to be very useful, but cups or cups of water is not something I think is a good investment for two reasons. Firstly, because there aren't enough in the game for what's being spoken about, the few shops that stock cups or tea only have a very small stock. So even if we use them, there'd have to be a way to buy more of them. And also under the tea brewing, they have a picture of a jug. Although it is entirely possible you then use the jug on a cup. But add your own game knowledge into these things and you may work out something that I have completely missed. But I consider this a low chance of going up a lot on price, even though they talk about it being as useful as hair blow, and we may use tens of thousands of them But we'd like to do day. even better. We're keen to stimulate an economy around forestry, including meaningfully tying other skills into that ecosystem to allow all sorts of players to contribute to forestry, even without an axe in their hands. So this point is very important, which will become more clear later. But through forestry, they want to make other skills profitable at arm currently. The general idea is that by creating an item that is very useful and consumed or deleted upon use, that you can trade at every step of the process and requires a bunch of skills to use, that you will make them all profitable. Of course, wanting to achieve that and actually achieving it are very, very different, but that's the goal. To obtain these new components, we'd like to introduce a forestry currency that, along with logs of all tiers, can be used to purchase components and new, unique rewards. So yes, that's right, Jagex literally just told us a bunch of items that are going to be hugely in demand soon, but just in case you missed it. 
After obtaining these new components, we'd like to introduce a forestry currency that, along with logs of all tiers, can be used to purchase components and new, unique rewards. So any item of forestry that you create requires an item first. Purchase with either the forestry currency or with all types of logs. All of these very useful add-ons and consumables all start with an item that you can purchase by exchanging all kinds of logs for it. They even state they hope forestry becomes a sink for every type of log. And I was incredibly surprised to notice that logs haven't gone up in price yet as hardly anyone seems to have noticed this. Now depending on when you watch this video they may start to be bought out unless you're one of the members who get access to my videos early. But even still there's enough logs in the game for everyone that watches my channel. Just don't buy it if they go up a lot in price because it's then not worth it and I'd pick a different item if that happens. You can also put miscellaneous into logs as well if you haven't already as the update isn't for 4 or 5 months. Now I've learned that there's no guarantees with Jagex but literally everything points to a huge demand for logs moving forward. The news post also mentions specific items that will be needed to create some of the forestry items. The clothes pouch and beast smoker requires leather, which makes sense as there's too many cheap leather items in the game that are too cheap to even sell to shops. The only doubt I have on this one is how much will be needed to make these items and could they use other items like Zeretian or Snakeskin which have a low demand too, but it seems like a pretty good bet. Next is cooked meat in a forester's ration, and it is so confusing to me, I can't lie. So first off, the fact that you need to restore run when you're woodcutting suggests either woodcutting now drains run, possibly using the two-handed axes we will get, or that all these special events require a lot of run. If either of those things happen, it means that super energies will be in high demand, possibly stamina depending on how it works, and we would use a ton of cooked meat, of all things. If cooked meat goes to 1000 GP each, just hypothetically, we will have a ton of bots, a cows, rats and bears in every single world. So it makes no sense to me, and, and I could just be missing something very simple that you can think of, that's why I put them in medium. I just don't get where they're going with this one. Steel bars, mithril, addy and gold bars are in a few different items and they mention it in the post as an item used many times. Although they are specifically mentioned there are so many bars and ores in the game, it's hard to imagine an item sink that will have a big enough impact on them to raise the price a lot. It's entirely possible, I'm personally just a little bit sceptical on these ones though. Steel nails is another item mentioned but this is another one that has gone up already around 50% so I personally avoid. Ultra Compost is part of an item that gives a greater chance to gather resources, it's a consumable, it's stackable, it gives more of an item designed to make a profit, so it ticks all of the boxes for a likely price rise. This one also requires herbs, a van to upwards. Now I released a video last year on why I thought dwarf weeds would go up in price as a long term investment, well I hope you still have them, I do. Because the cheapest herb in this category is the dwarf weed, which is the one we are bound to use. How high it will go is anyone's guess, there are a lot of them in the game so it really depends on the demand. Next we have seeds that make squirrel treats and you will also notice in here you need forester's rations, the thing that needs cooked meat again. So strange. But the big one here is seeds because it's an item that has long needed to go in an item sink. Many seeds are only worth 1-2 to two GP each. This is a perfect one if you don't have too much money. If you can get those cheap, they could go up easily to 10, 20, 50, 100 GP, you know, who knows. It depends on how useful the item is and how many seeds we need. Before I cover a couple of things going down in price, finally this is a list of the skills that will be part of forestry and they have said they want to make other skills profitable. Within these skills are items that are mass produced without much use, which are usually very cheap on the G. They will, if they can, try to include them in this new item sink. The best item you could invest in may be one of these skills that no one has thought of, but of course it has a much greater risk as you could pick an item and it not be included in the skill at all. Finally a few things will be going down in price and the main one is planks. One of the rewards is cheaper planks at the sawmill so inevitably construction will be a bit cheaper to train in the future. If you don't have 99 construction I would wait until after the update. Other items that have a chance of going down in price is crushed nests and sour brews. As you can get bird's nest as a reward from the dryad event. Of course this is all dependent on how often the nests drop, normally in forestry compared to how many we get now, and possibly high level tree seeds too. There is a seed reward from the flowering tree event and a ton of people are going to do forestry when it's out, increasing the amount of bird's nests and tree seeds naturally. The price drop on these may or may not happen and if it does it may come much later after the content is out. 
As always, if the price of any of the items mentioned goes up a lot, please don't buy them. It's just not worth the risk at that point. This update is still in production, so they can change anything at any point without any notice, and I will never ever be right all the time on these types of updates. I'm making an educated guess and nothing more. But if you do like these type of videos and want to subscribe, I normally do one before any major update content that I think will impact the economy. Come on, get that money.